It is my pleasure to introduce our expert advisor, Tommy Francis, the owner of Northeast Mechanical Services. Let's change subjects, if you will, to the benefits of having an HVAC maintenance agreement. And I have to be honest with you, I've never had an HVAC maintenance agreement on the equipment in my house, and I've been a homeowner since 1992. What is a maintenance agreement, first of all, and then how does it benefit, uh, I would assume, the system and how long it lasts? So basically a maintenance agreement so to speak is what you would sign up with a company and you would pay an annual fee is there a range can you give me a range of what those would typically cost i know it's different so, if you got one two or three systems or something like that so our prices to get them out there because we're an open book about everything yeah so for first system it's 180 dollars. that's for the year okay and additional system it's an additional hundred dollars the biggest thing with maintenance is keeping your system not only running effectively and efficiently but to prevent breakdowns throughout, especially the Georgia summer heat. What are the things that are happening when you come out and doing the maintenance? You're cleaning the exterior unit, you're changing filters. Like what else happens in those, in those, when you come out and do maintenance? So just as you noted, you know, we do obviously change filters. Okay. On the outdoor unit, you don't have a filter to protect that condenser coil. That's right. We do a chemical clean on the, on the condenser coil. Spray it down with like a, a little, uh, yeah. It's a condenser foaming cleaner, so okay. it gets in between the fans, foams everything out. Outdoor unit to breathe properly to prevent the fan motor and the compressor from overheating. If we check the capacitors, we can read that stuff on a digital meter to see if it's getting weak. But making sure all the wire connection is tight, making sure your refrigerant levels are up to par, just keeping the system healthy. How would I, as a homeowner, know when I needed to repair my system or maybe when it made better sense to replace it? Well, I guess it really depends on what is wrong with it and the cost of said repair. If it has the older refrigerant in it, which is R22. Can you repair those at all anymore? You can, okay, but really not cost effective. Okay, so let me ask you. It's not the cost of the repair, but it's the cost of replacing the refrigerant that is so yeah. that is so the prohibitive? Well, the refrigerant cost have went up. It's skyrocketing because they quit making it January 1st of 2020. Whatever's left over. Yeah. They call R22 liquid gold because it's literally, it's the price of gold. Basically, if you have an R22 system and it's failing on you, yep. you, need, you need a new system ultimately. And a lot of the newer systems are efficient enough to where if you plan on staying in the house for five years, that system may very well just pay for itself within the first five years. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I'm sure you're right. Quick question for you. How do you know that the system you have in a home is sized correctly? There's a lot of variables on that, and it's basically by doing a load calculation. We need to know what kind of windows, what kind of insulation, what the square footage is, yeah. um, load is in the house, you know, yeah. how many people are there. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that goes in, but a rough number is typically six 600 square foot per ton. Yeah your average but that's not that's not down to a science yeah when consumers are purchasing a new home and they're getting the new air conditioning unit from the builder do they need to have it inspected or is it just good to take the builder's word that it works fine 100 percent. i cannot stress inspections enough through an hvac contractor home inspectors will turn it on and check temperatures that's it mm -hmm. who's to say mm -hmm. that the system was installed correctly that home inspector does not know that is not his job